Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we're going to touch on some news from the last few months. We'll be looking at both weather modification and climate modification. We'll be looking at Scopex, Amazon, New Mexico, Colorado and Wyoming. In the United States, Oman and Pakistan, as well as China. We'll start in northern New Mexico with an article from November the 11th last year, so a couple of months ago now. Cloud seeding operation planned for northern New Mexico. Weather modification proposal aims to improve snowpack, alleviate effects of drought. A legal announcement is sparking interest through the northern New Mexico region. Not only for its proposal to use cloud seeding to help increase precipitation, snowpack water content in the primary target area, but also for its short comment period the public can use to raise objections. Then a couple of weeks later, despite the drought, New Mexico Project Seed Clouds scrapped. A plan to seed the clouds over the mountains of New Mexico to increase snowfall during a historic drought was pulled this week after accusations it could poison people and the environment. Good news there. In Wyoming, December the 1st last year, officials scrutinise cloud seeding programme. Two water development officials have criticised the proposed expansion of the state's cloud seeding programme into the Little Snake River Valley. There was an objection to adding $150,000 to expand the program in the area. Also from Wyoming, eight years in, State of Wyoming proposes expanding cloud seeding operations. So this is a bit longer than eight years in. As the article says, the cloud seeding generators deployed in western Wyoming more than a decade ago were meant to be temporary. But when the pilot's weather modification program ended in 2014, the state kept the generators running. Now in its eighth year, etc. But if there was operating before eight years ago, then it's going for a lot longer than eight years, isn't it? Even if it's a pilot program. Colorado. States begin use of cloud seeding to increase rain and snow levels. The reason I wanted to touch on those American articles first is because the amount of articles relating to China recently. You might have seen these, you might have not, but this was everywhere. 23rd of December 2021. China is manipulating its weather. Is there a cost? China is investing huge money in cloud seeding and blue skying techniques. 11th of December, report says China cloud seeding used to clear pollution from skies. From the 10th of December, how China changed the weather to clear skies for Beijing's centenary celebration. China is now controlling the weather. What's the environmental cost? Cloud seeding activates weather changing powers in Beijing. And more, China seeded the clouds to make the sunshine on Communist Party celebration. Study, how did China succeed in clearing the sky before the ruling party's celebration? Those articles were taken from all over the world. You definitely don't see as much attention being given to everybody else's programs on such a global scale. Over to Pakistan. From November the 22nd last year, Pakistan considers using UAE's cloud seeding tech to deal with smog. As per details in the Daily Pakistan report, Prime Minister Imran Khan's advisor on climate change recently said that the country is considering deploying cloud seeding technology developed by the United Arab Emirates to solve the pressing smog problem. Climate modification. Amazon is quietly researching how to block out the sun. It's not necessarily nefarious, but it's definitely ominous. A billionaire researching plans to dim the sun might seem like a plot of the famous Simpsons episode, but that's exactly what Jeff Bezos seems to be doing. Bezos's mega retailer, Amazon, has partnered with the National Center for Atmospheric Research and the geoengineering non-profit Silver Lining 
to help create models that show what exactly would happen if we blocked out some of the sun's rays, or at least they're modelling and not actually doing. Climate modelling often requires expensive supercomputers. That's where the Amazon partnership comes in, allowing climate researchers to use the company's cloud computing system. And as long as that's where it stays, I'm sure everyone's fine with it. Just don't bring it outside. Hmm? There is more information on the Silver Lining project on the database website. Goes through a few pieces who the Silver Lining project are, where they've worked, where they're from, and who some of their partners are, such as Harvard, who some of their sponsors are, such as the 2040 Foundation, who, as of 2019, had $5.3 million in revenue and $143 million in assets. Their revenue trends flatlined in 2015, and their asset trends went up in 2014 to $150 million. They have given grants to governments and organisations in the USA, nearly $8 million, and they've paid their staff nearly $1,300,000 in 2018. There's some information from 2020, as well as other information. And there is also the Bill Gates connection. Okay, moving on to Scopex. You remember last year, where their experiment in Sweden was cancelled because of people complaining about it, didn't get off the ground, so to speak. Geoengineering is the only solution to our climate calamities. So there to date, the only significant real-world initiative in the field is Harvard's Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment, SCOPEX. The chief obstacle to the project, according to Director David Keefe, is that funding agencies fear backlash from environmental groups, similar to the fate of ocean fertilisation, in 2019, a Swiss-backed proposal for a multilateral research initiative on atmospheric geoengineering was rejected. So, test of planet cooling scheme could start in 2022. One of those scientists is Harvard University's Frank Koch, who is leading the high-profile SCOPEX. He says the group hopes to launch the balloon in mid-2022. So when we covered this before in the videos, he said it wouldn't go away, they'll be back. They'll just be quiet for a bit. So we keep an eye on that one. In Oman, cloud seeding stations enhance rainfall over Oman. It's from December 2021. The Sultanate of Oman has succeeded in the process of artificial seeding technology. Over the past few years, 12 cloud seeding stations across the Sultanate have contributed to enhancing the amount of rainfall by 15-18%. to 18%. So that's some news from around the world. Probably touch on some more in the next video as well. There's plenty to go over from the last few months. So until then, look after yourselves. See you next time.